Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the new crossover radar that is coming. You guys seen it, you guys heard it, everyone's kind of annoyed and some people are happy. The crossover that is coming back is Fairy Tale. I was waiting to get the information about the new characters, the new buffs and everything so we can talk about that in a video. Now I can actually tell you guys what's better and not. So these are the EV equips that you can farm nothing crazy uh we're getting three new stickers actually uh two from here uh from the ultimate login bonus and we're getting tickets of course and there's one more right here saying men <laughs> i really like that it's not the like crazy new stickers and it's really cool and everyone's getting a hundred total of tickets for the crossover this is the natsu's buff right here nothing changed from short except the duration from 15 seconds going to 20 seconds and for the arts from 22,000, it went up to 27,000 fire damage physical increased attack by 100 and reduce enemies burn resistance by 50 percent for 25 seconds instead of 20 seconds for lucy a lot of things has been changed but it's still nothing crazy so five thousand extra light damage magical and the duration from 15 seconds for crit rate by um 100 has been gone up to 20 instead of 50 so five seconds longer and auto fields are gauged by one by the number of light units for 20 seconds now so if you have four you get 80 arts each time you do true arts if you have a full light team for the normal arts it has gone up by 3000 for the water damage uh, magic increase all allies magic damage by 30% now instead of 20 and every time arc gauge is used it goes up to 150 for stacking instead of 100 so you have to do it multiple times to get it stacked up to 150 now instead of just 100 now for the boy gray the, the most wanted unit in the whole banner okay true arts has gone up by 2000 but arc gauge by 70 for the first time used when you use your true arts that is nuts that is nuts that is really good arts has been gone up by 2000 so 22,000 water damage physical increase all allies physical damage by 30 percent instead of 20 every time ours is used it gets stacked by 150 percent instead of 100 as for urza she has gotten 5,000 buff for her light damage physical for the true arts so 70,000 percent and reduce enemies light resistance by 30 percent for 15 seconds increase crit damage by the number of true arts activated by 60 percent instead of 50 and stack to 300% instead of 250 for 15 seconds. As for the arts, it has gone up by 4,000, so 20,000% light damage physical, increased attack by 50%, and reduced enemies evasion rate by 30% for 20 seconds instead of 15. Guys, we have a new guaranteed crossover step up that is kind of dumb. I'll show you why. Step one is one paid paid gem and it gives you one character step two 25 paid and get five characters and get the equipments from the cross crossover equip bonuses so lucy's top is really nice for the step three 50 paid 10 summons and crossover equip times two bonus so the celestial gatey and the cold excalibur i believe is the best ones if you guys get it for step four 50 paid so it gives you 10 summons and the difference is instead of just giving you one blood crystal every time you summon it gives you a total of a hundred crossover gem bonus and that is amazing and step five of course 50 paid and one random not the character you don't have random crossover unit guaranteed it's gonna be in total of 176 paid gems that you need to have these are the equipments for the fairy tale but the most of all the most important ones from this whole thing is literally the second row lucy stop cold excalibur and celestial gate key in my eyes are the most best equips in this whole banner as for the boys who are rank above 80 plus players will be getting 140 gems for meeting new players so if you guys are new coming back to the game make sure to play it online with the boys so everyone else can get 
gems i think you guys will too yeah it says both new and veteran players can earn tons of rewards with multiplayer as for the packs the the packs that are coming back i believe are instant mlb packs that is really nice i always buy these because of unit lb stones that is really really good i think it's like uh 20 dollars i believe or 10 i i don't remember man my bad one dollar pack that it gives you 50 paid crystals the one dollar pack is the most valuable pack if you can't get it and after the update has dropped i will make a video for each and every single one of these units for their new buff showcase so make sure to stick around for that if you guys are gonna go summon let me know in the comments down below who you guys are trying to get hope you guys enjoyed subscribe and like so you don't miss out any other content and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out